Hey YouTube, this is a unique superstar coming to you guys with another video and this video is kind of different. Not different for me, but different for YouTube. YouTube ain't ready for this video. Are y'all ready? I know I am. This video is going to be about fashion careers. Literally, I have seen zero videos on people making um, or telling the list of careers that you can do with a fashion merchandising degree. Um, I have seen a few YouTubers talk about how they are majoring in fashion and the things that you do need to do to get into, you know, certain fashion schools or talking about how um, they got into the industry or what have you. But I have not seen any videos on YouTube that talk about, like I said, the different jobs or careers that you could have in fashion and I just made a little list of careers that you can or jobs that you can have or do and this is just um, a few jobs or careers from a long list of jobs and careers um, so I didn't really write any notes I just wrote down like I said a few main careers visual oh, my speech be a mess <laughs> visual merchandiser what is a visual merchandiser a visual merchandiser is a person that organizes and displays the visual aspects of the store meaning for example the window displays um, that you see in the different stores such as Macy's, Nordstrom even smaller stores such as Aeropostale or Pretty much every retail store has a window display. The purpose of a window display basically is to get the customers in the door, give them an idea of what they can find in that store. Um, you know, the purpose of you know a visual merchandiser is to put an outfit or a theme or a concept together to get the customer to buy their products and to be, you know amped up to buy if that makes sense um and so basically you know like I said they you know they come up with concepts and themes and put up props and they use different props and materials um to do that um the wage for visual merchandising starting off is not that good but once you you know climb your way up in the um company in which you work for you will definitely be you know um, better compensated for your work so like I said um, visual merchandiser um, basically does the window displays and the different um, the mannequins and everything you see in the store that's visual related um, the visual merchandiser probably did that and from my knowledge usually the visual merchandisers um, like do a walkthrough before the store opens to just straighten up everything and adjust everything or change um, the mannequins or change the different concepts or things that they have made um, and so they do a walkthrough before um, the opening and I guess maybe they you know they you know of course work regular um, store hours you know like kinda like a regular nine-to-five job and I guess like um, some weekends would also be um, required for most jobs okay assistant buyer slash buyer assistant buyer is basically an entry-level position that you can get um, if you have a fashion merchandising degree or a business degree or marketing degree what have you um, what is an assistant buyer an assistant buyer is the person that um, assist the buyer with um, buying the products for the store um, the duties and responsibilities duties and responsibilities also include um, allocating and planning um, kind of um, depending on how big or small the company that you work for is um, you may have more or less um, work to do if that makes sense um, you may be responsible for more if you work for a smaller company then you may be responsible for a specific um, or concentrated area if you work for a bigger company for example you may be in charge of women's contemporary apparel um, if you work for let's say Nordstrom 
um, versus if you work for like a small boutique, you are just, you know, pretty much in charge of everything. But an assistant buyer, sorry, I got a little off track. Um, but assistant buyer, they have to um, contact vi vendors um, and basically order the product, make sure the shipping is on time and make sure, you know, make sure everything is flowing well and on time and in a timely manner. And also, you know, they have to negotiate um, the different deals for the products. They have to negotiate, um, you know, how much they're going to buy and all that kind of stuff. Um, but when people think about um, being a fashion buyer, people think it's, you know, oh, you get to buy clothes for this store. And it's like um, being a personal shopper. People kind of um, relate being a buyer to being a personal shopper. And I'll talk about being a personal shopper a little bit later. Um, but um there is a lot of math and analytical um work that comes with along with being a buyer so it's not just you know buying clothes it's a lot of math skills and it's a lot of um, excel um and microsoft office work i believe as well and so yes yeah, basically and you also have to analyze the trends and see see what sold well that season and you know you kind of determine what needs to go on clearance and um, see when you need to replenish a certain product and like I said allocate and plan like let's just say a hat in California a green hat in California is selling really well but um, the same green hat in Chicago is not selling really well you know you have to kind of know your customer and it's all about the customer what the customer wants so that's kind of a little run through of what a system buyer is if that makes sense merchandiser a lot of people get merchandiser or being a merchandiser and being a assistant buyer or buyer um, they get it mixed up and so I kind of looked it up because I honestly myself get a little mixed up and so this this lady on the, that has a blog um, she was asked a question specifically about the differences um, Okay, and it said, and she says in her blog, in a nutshell, merchandisers work on the wholesale side and buyers work on the resale side. Let me give you a breakdown. The duties of a merchandiser include overseeing research, planning, and development of product at the wholesale level, establishing product direction and composition, track and analyze market trends and forecasts, study past sales and interpret data for new product direction. And those are just a few. And then being a buyer entails um, monitoring quality control, study trend. You have to study the trends and shop competitively, um, collaborate with planning, merchandising, and sales teams, negotiate prices with wholesalers slash vendors, and place purchase orders. So honestly, it's kind of confusing to me. But um, like she said, um, the merchant, I guess, being a merchandiser is more so making sure that um, you're. I think you're working more closely with the wholesalers and making sure things at a wholesale level are okay and functioning well. And then when you're a buyer, you're more so you know you're working with the wholesalers and the vendors, but you're trying to get those products to the retailers if that makes sense. Um, so being a merchandiser is another um, career opportunity. Um, product developer is kind of self-explanatory. Self um, basically, I guess you develop products and kind of you also have to, you know, know the fashion trends and um, know what sells and things like that. And you, I guess, work with the design team and um, different parts of the different parts of the different company that you work within. You work with um, different people and I guess you just develop the products. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's also self-explanatory at the same time. Um, brand marketing slash fashion PR. And if you don't know what PR means, it's public relations. Um, brand marketing and fashion PR, I kind of put those together because those kind of intertwine. But basically that is, um, Getting those connections with bloggers and um, making sure your product is in magazines and on television, uh, on the news, whatever the case may be. Basically, making sure you get your brand out there and making sure that your brand stays in good standing with the public. Um, 
so yeah that's the end of part one for fashion careers um, or um, careers that you can do with a fashion merchandising degree and so stay tuned for part two in the meantime be a superstar peace